Welcome guys to my first After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you Depth of Field. So, to start off with Depth of Field, you're gonna need, in Depth of Field, you're always gonna need a solid and uh, your like depth clip. So, this right here is my solid. You know, it's just like the footage and everything. And the depth of field clip is, it looks like this, pretty much. It's black and white, so it looks something like that. Um, I usually do Minecraft edits, and to get a depth of field in Minecraft, uh, when you're using replay mod to record, you have to uh, change your shader to the uh, depth of field shader. The link of the shader will be in the description if you want it. And uh, just for the other one, you can just use whatever uh, whatever shader you want. So now, now I'm going to show you how to do the uh, depth. So you're always going to want the depth of field clip to be on top. So let's just name this one normal clip because this is this here. And let's name the bottom one depth of field. Because if we toggle the visibility on the normal one, it's the depth of field. So what you want to do is drag the normal underneath the depth of field, just like that. Then you want to do Command D or Control D. It depends uh, what user you're using. For Mac users, it's Command D. For Windows, it's uh, Control D. Do that. And this is the important part, the track map. You're gonna want to click on the like the middle clip the middle solid one it's that one okay if you don't see this here like these um, it's probably just this little one here you're gonna want to click on this one so that they appear if they're already there then good it's okay you're gonna want to click here and do luma inverted matte and there you go now, in order to apply the effects to the background, it's pretty simple. Just go to the effects. I'm going to look up some tint. This is how to do it without Sapphire plugin if you don't have it. You could just drag tint and then you can just do like whatever color you want. You see now it's like red. The amount of tint, you can change how much you want it and stuff. Now, if you do have a plugin, if you do have sapphire you can use s underscore z fog linear put it down here your z buffer you can do your um for your z buffer you can do the normal clip and then fog color you can just do whatever play with the settings you know see how it feels how much blue you want and it's pretty cool something that i always like to do is get motion tile because I use blur this camera lens blur. I usually put it to like 10 You see these corners here. It has like this little black outline and stuff It doesn't look nice, but if you put on motion tile you drag it all the way up top and Output width I like 200 output height 200 and always click on mirror edges it just makes it look neat and as you see the black lines are gone so it just makes it a lot better and then you can just turn on your thing so this is how i usually lay it out my motion tile on top of all my effects you can play with whatever you want whatever blur you want stuff like that you know it's yeah it's kind of simple yeah i'm gonna be doing a shake tutorial next so just let me know what else you want to see i'll tell you what i know and yeah, like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Maybe I'll do like more in-depth tutorials next time for whatever. But thanks for watching. Peace.